different, two or three different kinds of skateboards. We have several different kinds of bicycles. We have a unicycle. I saw a Segway. We have a wheelchair. Any any rolled object that I haven't mentioned. Hello. Oh, uh, roller skates. Yeah, I want to give a special thanks to the Charm City Roller Girls. Raise your hand. In a minute, it's going to be explained. We're going to roll a couple of blocks down the street together and back, and then we're going to have a, a freestyle period for anyone who wants to do tricks, maybe some slingshotting from the Derby Girls, uh, some roller skate, uh, um, skateboard tricks. It's going to be a lot to look forward to. I just want to say a couple of really quick things. We're going to win on the offshore wind bill in Maryland. Yeah! Yeah! We're going to win because. We have to win. And we're going to win because of you you folks. You came here today. Let's keep going. There's the issue of cost. We've been talking about health. We've been talking about climate. We're going to get really creative this year. And one of the things we're going to do, and get ready for this, we're going to have thousands and thousands of people all across Maryland, male, the guys who work here, envelopes with coffee beans in them. Coffee beans. Why? Because this windmill will cost the equivalent of maybe a cup of coffee per month. That's it. To avoid hundreds of premature deaths, save billions of dollars, create jobs, solve climate change, a coffee, a cup of coffee a month. So we're going to send coffee beans without any letter attached or anything, just the coffee beans. So they open it up, they're like, oh, oh, the coffee beans. That's the wind crowd. That's right. So get ready to mail some coffee beans to these guys, right? And that's what it's about. It's about creativity. It's about inspiration. It's about being inspired. It's about doing something that others aren't doing, taking action, making this part of your life, making climate change part of your life, turning out on a Saturday, sending the coffee beans, making the phone calls. And I want to draw one other event that's coming up that I really need your help on. October 7th. Many of you know that in addition to fighting for what we're in favor of in Maryland, wind power, we're also fighting against the things we're opposed to. And we're really, really, really opposed to the tar sands pipeline from Canada to Texas. All right? Many of you have already, many of you have already been involved in that. We need your help. October 7th, especially if you work in downtown D.C., we're going to have a rally at noon, October 7th. Go to tar sands. Action.org or the CCAM website. If you live within an hour or so of DC, please come join us. Our goal is to have a thousand people outside the final hearing for that tar sands pipeline at the State Department. So look for more on that. We have some information. Get ready to have fun. And now we're going to take a photograph. My last uh, job here today is to ask all of you to come right here with your backs to the State House. And some can get on the lawn. We want little people in front. Bicycles on the edge, and you're gonna have your back to the state house, and you're gonna face this way, so we can get a lot of photographs of all your beautiful faces, all your beautiful rolling vehicles. All right, we bring this out so we can get all people safe. That's okay. Come on, everybody.